Um, on solving a problem like this, there's two different ways. One way, um, the first way I would do this is just using your inverse operations. We know this is a two-step equation, right? You always undo addition and subtraction first. So I have 3 fs x plus 5 equals 7. Well, I'm adding 5 to my x, so subtract 5. So then I have negative 3 halves x um, equals 2. Now I need to undo multiplying by negative 3 halves. To undo multiplying by negative 3 halves, I have to divide by negative 3 halves. But we don't like dividing by fractions, right? Instead of dividing by fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. And since we want our x to be positive, I'm going to multiply by the negative reciprocal. So therefore, that divides to, multiplies to 1. And I have x equals 2 times, remember, this whole number can be represented as a fraction. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 1 times 2 is positive 2. x equals negative 3. Yes? Um, because I wasn't thinking and I didn't reciprocate it. It should be 2 over 3. Thank you. Yeah, you got to flip the reciprocal. So therefore, I actually have 4 thirds, right? Negative 4 thirds. Right? OK, let's look at the other way. The other way that I told you guys is simply when you guys have fractions, stop getting so concerned about fractions. Just get rid of the fraction. So we look at this, and remember, all these whole numbers can really be rewritten as over 1. So really, you can rewrite them all as a, you know, as a fraction, right? Look at the common denominator. What is the common denominator of 2, 1, and 1? Well, what is the largest, what is the smallest number that 2, 1, and 1 divide into? So 2 doesn't divide evenly into 1. But 1 divides evenly into 2, and 2 divides evenly into 2. So the other way you can solve this is multiply everything by 2. So when you multiply everything by 2, it looks like this. 2 times negative 3 halves x plus 2 times 5 equals 2 times 7. You girls got that? So now when I multiply this, multiply across, those divide out. I have negative 3x plus 10 equals 14. Can you guys solve from there? Can you guys solve that two-step from there? Yes? No? Yeah. I would solve it, but I mean, I already solved the equation. But when you solve that, subtract 10 on both sides, divide by negative 3, you get the exact same answer. So there's two different ways. It really just kind of depends on what your skills are. Um, I mean, it's, an, it's a two-step equation. So always undo addition and subtraction first. But if you don't even like